Hello everyone and welcome to this week's garden tour. This one's going to be a quick one because I have construction on my street on both sides, in both corners. So I'm trying to film this while the noise is down. So I'm going to do a very quick tour in the front yard and then we're going to move on to the pot garden very soon as usual. So the biggest, the first biggest difference that we have this week, we actually have also mulched our beds over here to help with moisture control. It's been really hot, really dry but we're gonna have a full week of rain, which is kind of cool for us. And we also have kind of changed the design of our garden. We have changed our carpet, now we have fake grass <laughs> to make it look nice. I've changed the right arrangement of the pot, so let me show you guys around. Okay, so this is a quick view of how the new setup looks like. And just to save some space here too, because it'll be a lot going on with a bunch of this support, I just put a twine in here and I wrapped this tomato around. There's a bunch of videos online that talk about this setup so people put this really high trellis and they would just do the tomato. That's just an idea if you want to also think about the aesthetics so we do not have so many of the supports up here. But if you do, it's okay too. You can put three or uh, one in each layer even if you like it here. In this green stock here, you remember this lettuce, this last which was not that big those red ones are huge too this basil i harvested the tops to encourage more like a bush growth the basil nasturtium the beautiful orange the orchid cream nasturtium also bloomed down there i have another one on the pink green stalk and this tomato is really taking over which i'm really happy about actually there's another one here that's growing up but it's going to be different on the top layer so i don't know if we're going to just try to make coming this way or we'll figure out these mustards here are getting a little bit it's getting too hot for them you can see it's looking a bit droopy and they're growing fast too so i might have to harvest i harvested other bok choy that was here last week but if you guys remember we ate that it was delicious and here on this planter i have changed the orientation of the tears just to see to see if it'll look a little bit nicer with some of these smaller plants on the top actually even though those are already blooming, how many some flowers to pop some color in the garden too. And I have this here in the middle, set off on the top, because I have that squash growing in there. I plan to try to put it up there. Let's see if it works or not, but it's an experiment. I can always move those if I want to. Here on this side, I have a lot of my tomatoes that I have just decided that I might repot them to bigger pots because we want to have more productive plants. And here, I uh, remember last week we pollinated the tomato flowers. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that too, since we are here. This tomato here is really big. I think I pruned it last week. I did a few, a little bit, and then it's all kind of, I, I let two suckers kind of take over, so it's growing two main stems up. I put some mulch here. It was left over from the pot garden. Just decided to put it in this garden too. The peas I have been harvesting. And the cool thing, they're already sending little flower buds in there. As I say, you can already keep picking them to encourage more production. Still a few here. Those are probably going to be ready to pick tomorrow. My hands are dirty because I just worked in the garden before doing this video. Some flower here that I sowed the seeds but I was not really hopeful. It's growing. Let's see what's going to happen. And this is the construction stuff. It's all here, and there's some more all the way in the corner there. I have put some support to my peas, but it's kind of looking weird. I slightly regret the way I did it. I'm going to redo this two cords here. They're grow drooping to the street, which I don't want to because I don't want people picking my peas. And there's a lot of those purple peas now growing. And here, look at that. Those are going to be ready to pick pretty soon. Actually, I'm just coming around because I don't want this to do this and try to fix. I'm gonna set the camera right here. It's this eggplant here. It's growing really well and it's getting really big, really fast. I really like the heat. This is a patio baby eggplant, so it's good for small spaces and supposed to be very prolific and produce little eggplants. I'm very curious to see how it's gonna turn out. It's really big right now. I can see my hand here for reference on how big those leaves actually are. And we have buds. 
see these flower buds in there excited to have them open and see some of this flowering fruiting very soon my cilantro that was there it's already bolted i harvested but it just has sent some more side shoots so let's see how long more i'll be able to harvest it's getting way too hot for it so let's just see this kale here I do need to harvest, I don't know really how long to harvest the pods my first time collecting seeds. These are still looking pretty green to me, this is good, big, but I think it needs more time to dry out. I do want to get rid of this kill because I, it's kind of in the way, it's beautiful, but it would be nice if I could clear that out. The bok choy that had bolted and I wanted to harvest seeds got pretty dry over there and some of the pods are mature, some are not, I just tied it up to this bracket here. I also have harvested some of the shallots, the queue in here. Clearly too small, but I was too curious to see the size. So I pulled them out just to see in a garlic that had produced a scape, but it was too small. So I'm definitely waiting a little longer for that one. This raspberry plant starting to look really big. And it has some flowers somewhere. Let me see if I can find the flower buds. So it's going to start to bud soon. This potato here is looking really big too. The other two potatoes need to get more dirt on them. So it will be this one that I have already raised the bag up with it, but by the soil. I just need to put soil up to here. I sold some edamame on this spot. And some of them already came up. Might be too small, but let's see if it, what's gonna happen. Some amaranth in there. I'm excited to see red leaves and red flowers. And there's some beans that I sold. I planted in this other lawn planter here as well. I just not a quick overview, and I think I'm going to be done with this side. Try to bury the noise here, but I need to get moving. I think one just everything's looking great here. And I'm gonna go take all these alliums to the other side, to the plot. Okay, here I am at the plot. It is looking actually quite nice here. This part here, I'm going to actually put all this stuff along that wall there. And what is this? All those the weeds were pulled. Oh, Xenia! Look at that! First Xenia of the season for us here. And Everything's looking nice. This lettuce here still doesn't look like it's bolting, but it's getting really big. So is this one. I planted a few tomatillos here on this side, just because I had extra starts. I really don't have high hopes for those. A few peppers here. This is looking nice. This tomato in the middle is looking nice. I need to put a plant of like a steak in there. Uh, there's some tomatillos there in the back. They're also looking nice. The tomato bed here. It's also looking alright. That's it, Emily. So a few things are looking a bit droopy, but it's going to rain for the next four days, so I'm still not watering. I'll just let get some natural watering. But it looks like the mulch that we put last week. A few weeds came through, but it's okay, very manageable. I'll just pull this out now. And this chart is looking huge over there. Oh my god, it's so big. Everything is doing fine. So today is going to be a very short garden tour. Not much difference from last week, but just wanted to give an update. Anyways, and here's our compost piles all dried out. All those weeds we put in there last week. This bed here has two potatoes back there. We're doing fine. Some weeds we've got to pull out. We have some leftover mulch, so we will mulch this other side. Not this weekend, but probably by next week. And don't make any more promises because we get busy sometimes. Hard to come to find time to work in the garden. This kid is a fighter. Look at that. It's not dying. We kind of cut it off and just go back up. So I think we'll be fine. We'll leave it in there. Here is the garden. And let's we'll just take a look at the roses. And it probably is just going to end the garden tour for today. It'll take some time to put these hyliums here and bring this back home. Look at this. Beauties over there. And the grapevine is really growing too, it's getting really big. From the outside it's better to see, but it's kind of starting to look really lovely over here. A little overgrown, but I like the looks. Those. Okay, that was it for today. Little short and sweet, but we just wanted to give an update anyways. 
we will come back with more next week we'll have a lot of rain we have four days of rain so hopefully that will boost the growth of a lot of the things too thank you for hanging out with us and i'll see you next time